one of our most favorite stops every year at CES is the HD radio booth because there's always news here. I'm Dave Graveline from Into Tomorrow. Thanks for joining us with me in the HD radio booth. None other than the president and CEO of HD Radio Ubiquity, Bob Struble. Bob, welcome Into Tomorrow. How are you? Dave, I'm great. I look forward every year to our updates because A, you do a great job, but B, there's always some news and uh, uh, we're able to showcase our progress a bit. This has been a fantastic 12 months for HD radio technology. We've seen uh, sales of HD radio receivers grow over 60% this year. Sales in cars, 90%. So um, bucking a bad economy and moving the technology forward. We'll uh, get a little tour of the booth, see what's going on, but might as well start right in front. What you see uh, in front of you is a, a Ford with HD radio technology. A nice big Dodge Ram truck with HD radio technology and a Chevy Traverse with HD radio. So that's the American Big Three, and they're all offering the technology and putting them on pretty attractive vehicles. We're sitting in the 2013 Chevrolet Traverse. It's a beautiful mid-sized SUV. Um, and you see the future of radio in front of you. We see this is a local Las Vegas uh, station, 102.7. Um, so we see the HD logo. We know we've got HD. We see our song. Uh, artist and title. I see a tagging feature. So if I want to explore this song, preview this song, purchase this song, I can tag it. The next time I go to iTunes, I'm going to find a little folder that says tagged and uh, my choices will be there. I can look at them, I can buy them. Uh, and also, uh, fantastic implementation of what we call artist experience. This is uh, the album cover art. That data is coming from the radio station. And did I mention, this is standard equipment on the uh, Chevy Traverse. So Dave, we're sitting in the 2013 Toyota Yaris uh, and looking at the HD radio implementation here. Again, we're seeing, uh, this is a $15,000 car. Um, so HD radio is now penetrated down to the lowest price points in automobile. Um, we see a different feature set, of course. It's a lower priced radio for a lower priced car. Uh, but I've got my HD radio stations. I've got my HD 1 and 2. I'm seeing my song and artist and title. We had a great announcement from Toyota and Lexus at the show. They have a chosen clear channel in their HD radio network to provide free uh, over-the-air traffic updates. Um, so if I go to uh, my information icon, I've got the option to look at the traffic. I'm seeing a traffic map. Again, this is coming uh, from over the air, free to the consumer, and tell me what's going on in, uh, in Las Vegas. In addition to that, I've also got other information, and uh, uh, the one that we've got up and operating now is uh, weather. So again, coming from my uh, local radio station, uh, I need to know what the weather's going to be like for the next three days. I can hit this, and I'm going to get that beautiful screen that tells me it's going to be sunny and, and uh, warm in Vegas on Saturday. This is free to the consumer for the life of the vehicle. I buy the car, I will get the traffic information, the weather information, other things like stock quotes, sports scores, headlines, etc. free for the life of the vehicle. There's 29 different automakers, Dave, that offer HD radio technology in their cars, about 150 different vehicles, um, and of those, almost half are standard equipment. Now, in addition to more car manufacturers uh, jumping on board appropriately so, more manufacturers of radios, of course, as always. Every year we stop by, yet there's more cool new stuff coming out in terms of equipment. We use the digital technology, uh, Dave, not to just do things that people might need, like traffic and weather, but also to uh, look out for the public interest in various different ways. So what we've got um, in front of us here is the Best Buy's Insignia Narrator Radio. Uh, this radio was specifically designed for the visually impaired, for blind folks. Uh, it's got a lot of features uh, that make it easier for them to tune the radio, uh, to find stations, uh, to get additional information. And this radio was awarded uh, the 2012 FCC Chairman's Award uh, for Advanced Accessibility. We're very proud of that and uh, again showing how you can use the technology uh, to serve underserved communities. Uh, also an Insignia Radio, this one is built with a feature we're calling Active Alert. Um, folks know that radio has had a responsibility to provide emergency alerts for years. This one takes it to the next level. If I've got a storm uh, coming towards my house, I get that emergency alert, and let's just say it's the middle of the night, uh, the radio is smart enough, it will wake up, even if it's turned off, it will give the alert, it'll tell us to get on out of the house. So uh, something that um, not only provides great information and entertainment, but also uh, takes and protects public safety. Bob, portability with HD radio continues to increase in popularity. Yeah, uh, Dave, we've had a big focus on the portable devices that uh, people use. We all know the importance of mobile phones um, in our uh, society. Everyone's carrying them, and, and FM radio and HD radio need to be on those phones as well. You see things like uh, beautiful uh, search capabilities, uh, finding the songs I want. Take a look at this ad over here with the Samsung. I've got a uh, uh, an event coming up. Um, 
I've got the ability to save that event to my phone. It'll go right into my calendar, and I can go and, and do that. If I've got a car ad, uh, I can go and uh, see a QR code, maybe get a coupon to, uh, uh, to get some uh, uh, prices off, get some uh, discounts, etc. So we're integrating um, the, cap the great capabilities of radio, the ability to provide that music, provide that information, but taking advantage of well of the capabilities of the smartphone uh, to bring new services to consumers, uh, and we believe new revenue to broadcasters. Bob, GPS navigation and HD radio continue to play very nicely together. Yeah, Dave, we talked about the free uh, over-the-air traffic updates that uh, Toyota and Lexus drivers will be able to get, but for consumers that uh, maybe aren't in the market for a new car, that capability also comes in personal navigation devices, and uh, we've had a great and successful partnership with Garmin. Uh, they've expanded their line. We get a sense here of uh, the breadth of the product line, and we'll give you a, a sense of the capabilities. I've got uh, my destination punched into this unit. I need to know, uh, am I going to encounter traffic? Uh, I hit the little traffic button, and up is going to come what's going on. There's a total delay of uh, two minutes. We've got some construction uh, uh, in front of me. This data is coming free to the consumer over the air from the local HD radio station. Uh, Garmin's branded this service digital traffic, um, and these units are selling very, very well. HD radio is in Mexico. Uh, we were selected by the Mexican government as the standard in uh, late 2011 and had a formal launch of the technology this year. Seeing even more award-winning radios in front of the infamous radio wall here at the HD radio booth. Bob, so much excitement every year coming from your exhibit, but what can we expect from HD radio into tomorrow? Well, you're going to see more growth, Dave. I mean, we've been at a, uh, a very, very healthy clip, as I mentioned, 60% unit growth of HD radio receivers in uh, 2012. We think you're going to see that in 2013. You'll see more announcements from uh, automakers. Uh, we think you'll see a mobile device or two. Um, we're going to see uh, an increase in the features and services, so uh, active alerts, uh, the traffic services brought to you by other OEMs. So uh, in a certain sense, more of the same, but uh, a lot of new good stuff. And we've got a few things in our back pocket that uh, we will surprise you with through the course of the year. Terrific. We'll get you on the radio broadcast during the year to tell us about some of these new innovations that continue to happen and look forward to stopping by your exhibit here at CES again next year. Thanks, Dave. We love, uh, love being with you and uh, uh, look forward to keeping you updated. From the HD Radio Exhibit at the 2013 International CES for Into Tomorrow and HD Radio, I'm Dave Graveline.